Hey guys, what's up? It is Kat, and I decided with summer finally here that I would do a few summer read recommendations. I have a few contemporaries that I'm going to be recommending, and I also have a few series I'm going to recommend, and a few fiction books that I'm going to be recommending, and I am super excited to do this just because summer is my favorite time of the year because that's when I can get a literally a lot of my reading done. So the first series that I'm going to be recommending is a fantasy series and that is the Throne of Glass series. I don't have the first book with me, my sister-in-law is currently reading it, but with The Queen of Shadows coming out into September, I think this is a great time to pick up this series. You can read, there's only right now three books out plus the novella which is four books out so you can marathon those throughout the summer. It is a high fantasy read, it is about a girl that's been enslaved and she is brought in to do these games to become the king's champion and assassin and she definitely has a very big background story but this series will be such a great series to pick up right now in the summer. The next book that I have to recommend is a contemporary book. Actually it's the author herself that I want rec I'm going to be recommending and that is Sarah Dessen. This book is just listened by Sarah Dessen. But all of Sarah Dessen's books are very te contemporary, very cutesy, romantic. Majority of them have a very good ending. Just Listen was one of my favorite ones. It's a very sarcastic one. Um, a majority of the girls either have perfect mothers or they're perfect themselves or popular. My other favorite book that I would recommend by Sarah Dessen is Along for the Ride. Honestly, that was one of my favorite ones. So. Sarah Dustin is such a cute contemporary read. Majority of her books are also kind of placed in the summer or at the end of the school years and they're all just so cute and romantic and they are all gushy so. The next fantasy series that I want to recommend is the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer. This is also another series that the final book is coming out in September and what better time to read this series than in the summer and be ready for the next book. It is about a cyborg slash human girl that lives in this future new Beijing and she, it's kind of like almost a Cinderella story. She is fixing up things and she meets the prince and she starts having this love for him and then you have Queen Lavana who is the queen of the like the lunars I believe and it's just I really did enjoy this book and I'm actually planning on finishing the series as well this summer hopefully and like I said winter is coming out in September so what better season to read this book in the next book that I have to recommend is the Nic Nicholas Sparks books this one specifically the last song it is set in the summer it is very sad I guess it is a sad book but it's also a happy book and it's just I think it brings out a lot of inner feelings and inner thoughts it is about a girl who has been kind of became rebellious she was a piano prodigy but she gave that up her and her brother go down to live with her father that she really hates for the summer and she just starts to discover things about herself and about her father that she really didn't know and she also meets this boy and he's a very rich boy and his parents are very you should not be dating a girl that's not rich and it's very all of these societies mixed into one and so I definitely recommend it. it is, so the next series that I have to recommend is a fiction fantasy series and this is a series that I pretty much recommend in every single recommendation video that I make and that is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I just I have can't say enough good things about this series. If you are into aliens and like a sexy romance and just all out beautifulness, I definitely recommend the Lux series. There are five books in the series. This is the bind up of the first two and you know you just can never go wrong and the dialogue in this book is just absolutely beautiful. It is about a girl, her and her mom move to this town, and, and there she meets the next door neighbor, Damon Black, who is not only is he sexy, but he is just an asshole, I guess, in her, in Kat's eyes. And the thing about this book is that 
Kat, the main character, is a book blogger as well. So any booktuber or book blogger can definitely connect to these characters. So this next cutesy book that I really, really recommend is set in London and it is a contemporary book. And that is meant to be by Lauren Morrill. It's just so cute. Julia and her classmates are going to London on a, I think it's a school trip. And she's been getting these strange texts, these strange, like, cute Romeo romantic texts. And she and the class clown, the guy class clown, are trying to figure out who has been sending her these texts and what better place than London and places where you just romance forms. And it's just <sighs> romance. I just love... Summer has this thing, guys. I just don't know. Summer does something to me where romantic books are just something... I absolutely positively love. The next book that I recommend is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I'm only halfway through this book, but I feel like I need to recommend it right now because it is just so, oh my gosh, it is so amazing. I absolutely love everything about it. This weird romance that's been going on, it's just all so beautiful. It is about a girl that is a princess that literally just doesn't want to get married and runs away and now the prince and the assassin are after her and an assassin are after her and she falls in love with one of them and I was reluctant to pick it up but now that I'm like halfway through it I already want to be done with it just to see what happens at the end because there are just th weird things going on that I'm trying to piece together. The next series I have to recommend is also another fantasy series but it's one that I think a lot of people haven't have read and if you haven't read it yet, then I'm going to suggest that you get to it this summer. And that is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. A lot of people have read this. It's now becoming, I think, a TV series. And so if you haven't read this, pick it up. I would give a synopsis on it, but a majority of you have already read it. So just pick it up if you haven't read it. You will enjoy it. And the last series I have to recommend is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. If you haven't picked this book up or this series up, um, what's wrong with you? They've been around for years. You need to read them, and what perfect time to read them in the summer. You can read two or three of them a month. Not really, but it happens. It's about wizardry and witches. Do it. Alright guys, that is all for my Summer Reads recommendations. If you have any recommendations for me, definitely leave them in the comments below. And also, if you have read any of these books or planning to read any of these books, leave them in the comments below. Also remember to like this video, give it a like for smiles, and also remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!